this video we're going to go over how to uh, set up a payment button through authorize.net as well as how to add this nice little buy now button to the website um, so I've already logged into authorize.net and I clicked on um, from home I went to simple checkout and so you'll see I already have one set up in here 2012 design house tickets but when it's time to add a new one you just click add new item you're going to give it a name. The ID can be anything. Like I named the design house like design house 2012 was the ID I gave it. It doesn't really matter as long as it's unique. Um, the type is a product because it's a ticket. And then you can give it a description and a price. Um, so I'm going to cancel this one and just go into where it's design house tickets that I've already set up. And so once you're finished, um, it's going to give you a screen right here with a preview as well as the buy now button code. Um, so I have this little piece of code here and that's what's going to put a button on your site. So I'm going to grab all this right here, highlight it, copy it, and then I'm going to come over here to the site. I already have a buy now button on the uh, home page so I'm going to show you how to add it to the more info and directions page. Um, so I scroll down here there is this buy tickets to the door or buy online by clicking this link. So I'm going to replace that with your button code from authorize.net. So I've already logged in here. Let me go back a few steps. I'm going to click on, after I've logged into the website, I click on content. And then, uh, where is it? Panel pages. No, I don't want panel pages. Okay, content. Is it blocks? Huh. Okay, so if I just click on content, it's right here. I see my designer show house page. Then I'm going to click edit. Now I'll have my edit screen for the page. Um, you'll notice like the button code is, is actual code. It doesn't look like this page right here. So there's this little button up here called source. And that's what we're going to do to edit the code that's behind this page. But first I want to just go down here and find where it says buy tickets at the door or buy online by clicking this link. So I'll click source and then I'm going to do a search on my browser just for the word link. And so now I've highlighted it. I finally found it in this massive piece of code. I'll see click this link. So that's the part where I want to paste in your button. And I can actually get rid of this part that says and then clicking the tab that it says tickets. And I'll paste in the code that they gave me. Come down here, save it. So that's been updated. Let's come back out here to the page and refresh it. Or so buy tickets at the door or buy online and then it says buy now. So I need to get rid of this word buy. Come back here to my page. And I can actually edit it right there. I think I'm also gonna just move that down ever so slightly. So I've saved it, come back out here refresh and now I'm good to go.